I'm gonna go all Sinead O'Connor. Hello friends, my name's Brandon Dayton. Look at this thick robot. <laughs> Welcome to Kite. I'm your humble narrator. We're gonna be shooting some robots today. Uh, robots killing robots. That's what this game's all about. And it's pretty nice. I'll tell you that, it's got like a nice 80s aesthetic to it. We'll go ahead and start it up on normal, hardcore's locked, because I ain't beat the game yet. But, don't worry, the revolution is over. Peace has come to Earth. Nature and technology have united forces, joined forces to save the planet. The, s the sun is finally setting on the old ways of man. Oh, how, I, how I'll miss them. <laughs> Weapons manufacture and research are banned worldwide. Seems the liberals had their way. The several top secret facilities remain operational. Oh, the conservatives had their way too. Everybody wins. Don't worry, guys. The main weapon site is known as Arch City, and it houses the master data banks. The most advanced weaponry ever created is stored safely within the complex. Okay, so don't worry, guys. It's totally safe. It says it's stored safely, so so that's cool. Remote transfer complete. Human operated remote droid system operator mags. The scientists here will test your functions. The rescue number in the top left of your HUD shows how many need attention. Currently four. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's, let's get cooking. We got some shooting. That guy was gonna tell me, like, you can press spacebar and go super fast. Super fast turbo legs! But that drains your battery in the lower left-hand corner there. The lower left is basically where, uh, everything exists. Your heart, uh, obviously your life. Your blue circle, obviously your shield, and then your battery, which is pretty important if you're going to be an android lady in the future. Which I don't plan to be, but it could happen. And this guy's like, hi, I'm fat, and I'm like, cool. He's like, your guns use ammo, and I'm like, no shit, <laughs> see you later. And here's another fella. What's up? Let's talk defense. You can use your shield. Yep, that's what happens. And there's some baddies out here. Hey, baddies. What's going on? So this game is uh, relatively easy, at least in the early stages, as I would expect from this sort of thing, you know. Uh, but in the later stages, you will have to start running running around your enemies and um, basically kiting them, which is a term that originated in, in MMOs, and recently I've been playing a little bit of World of Warcraft, so... Oh, I can't go through the door. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Why not? Let me through. I know that's the exit. Oh, I've got to talk to more scientists. There's one more scientist that I need to talk to. All right, that's fine. I guess we do that. But yeah, um, as a hunter in World of Warcraft, one of your main jobs is to kite the enemy and basically stay ahead of them while still shooting them. And I guess that is the uh, the idea behind this game when you get some of the bigger enemies and such. In the beginning, the uh, the goals and such are pretty straightforward and. The enemies just get laid out flat if you uh, give your little gunny gun a right click. And you do have two guns. We've got a crossbow and then we've got like these dual pistols that we're wielding. So it's pretty sweet. You can also upgrade your character. Uh, we'll get some scrap, we'll get some skill points. You can go to the workshop, but uh, not for a couple more levels, I do think. We did get an A rank, so we got a little more scrap to use in the workshop and a skill point, just like I was talking about. So, super! Well, Max, what do you think of the fresh upgrades? Oh, they're rad, Abby. Testing out your latest and greatest is pretty much what I live for. S sweet But you better remember how to use them, too, because the goof Nelson in the garden lab sent out the distress call. No way, you think there's an actual problem? He could just be cheesing us. <laughs> cheesing us. Everyone knows we're getting QC'd the newest horde prototypes. Maybe he's trying to get a sneak peek at your loadout. Could be, but don't worry. No one's getting free show. Either way, I better drop in on these jokers. Defense turrets should be the real threats, and with the power supply in the area, turrets can repair. Hard to see why they'd actually need me. Anyone in danger will be safe once I'm nearby. That's right. I'm gonna keep everyone safe with my giant robot legs. They think as fuck. They think as fuck! Alright! So it looks like uh, you just have to shoot this little thing to get out of that starting area. They're pretty good at hiding paths in this game. So that's a little bit of a, a little bit of puzzly action for you as well. Mine the landmines, Nelson didn't. Look for a three-person team. Oh, that's terrible. Don't worry. Control will flash you out of here. I'll get to the rest of our people. That's right. That's what robots do. They save people. There's a landmine. Oh, and also stay out of the fire. The fire's going to get you. Look at this. I'm... I'm... How can I say it and then immediately do it? That's... That's... That's not good. 
And there's some spikes there as well, so I'm going to need to uh, use my super speedy legs to get through them. I can also uh, slow time, which is actually just like an increase in your reflexes and stuff like that. But I don't find myself using that generally. Um, I find that the speedy legs are much more useful. Whoa, my god. I just got blown up by like four landmines at once. My health is uh, shit. Pretty shit. System failure. Wow. I died on the first level. Get out of the tutorial and die. Fantastic. So I lost all my scrap there. It was only 22, but still. Not good. We're setting a bad example for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Well, we'll get over the spikes again. The turret, like they said, can't be destroyed until I get rid of the, uh, the power banks or whatever they are. So we're going to just avoid the turret for now. Look for the power banks first. And yeah, they've got some uh, enemy drop pods coming in. Switch to my my arrows of doom. I feel like Green Lantern, uh, but also Hawkeye at the same time. It's pretty cool. There's a scientist in this building and a power bank. So we're going to have to go uh, blow some stuff up. Collect a little more scrap. Then we'll go blow some stuff up. That's how it goes around here. All right. There's an enemy waiting. I took a little bit of his health down with that explosion. Been stuck here all night. The defense systems are all powered by that energy tank there. Taken care of. If you knock out all the power turrets, they'll still attack you, but without power, they can't repair and won't come back. Good, I'll take them out once I toast the energy tank. What about the spikes? They deactivate without a power source as well. Alright, cool. So we, uh, we look pretty good. And there's a little, uh, health pad on the floor, should we need it. Which currently, I don't. That was... That was something that I could have used in my last run after I accidentally run into a bunch of fucking landmines, but that's how life goes sometimes, you know? Sometimes you just get landmined. Landmine I did. Oh well. We're gonna make it through. We got one turret to take down, two scientists left to rescue. Really easy um, to keep track of what your objective is supposed to be, but it's a little bit harder to find the objectives because you don't really have a mini-map of any kind. So I think that would help the game just out just a little bit. Um, but the UI already kind of looks kind of cluttered, if you ask me. So maybe it's not the best idea. The, the maps aren't extremely huge, so I guess it works out just fine. But yeah, I really like the aesthetic aside from the fact that there's just a lot going on on the screen. Especially the first time you boot this game up, you're going to be like, what the fuck is all this? <laughs> At least that's how I felt. So, uh, we'll work our way over here, get rid of some landmines, see what it do. What it do, baby boo? Uh! And, uh, yeah. We took all the turrets down now, so just a couple of scientists. A couple of scientists and we'll be home free. Be able to go, you know, do the other thing. And there's the mini bot, so that thing should help me out just a little bit. In some way, I'd imagine. Maybe, uh, increase your power. I mean, the mini-bots do a lot of different things, and it doesn't really specify uh, exactly what they do. So, it's a bit of a guessing game, but whenever you see them, you'll probably want to pick them up, because they always do something useful. They do do something useful, haha. <laughs> do do. Alright, there's a couple scientists up there. Uh, let's get rid of these landmines. I don't think this is the right way. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> Just had to explode a landmine with my face, and that'll lead me through. So our last two scientists are here. Look, they came, we're saved! Does this mean you took out the security systems? Sure do. Those things came online and started wasting everyone. Nelson went off in a panic and just took off. Security system will be a problem. I have this whole area safe in just a tick. Alright, this guy teleporting? Cool. We good. So now we can exit. Exit the stage with my turbo legs. Hell yeah! And that seems to be blocked by rocks, so we'll go around. I think this is the way we came into the stage, so that'll work nicely. No problem. We got it, coach. Level complete. Five minutes. Not bad. Alright, give me some treats. Rank B. 50 scrap plus also 100 scrap. And no skill points. Well, that sucks. Control, what's with your bots in the garden? How in the world did this happen? Nelson's gone. He's dead, damn it. Experiencing lack of input from Garden Lab. Data streams ended after a distress call from Nelson. Nelson currently missing. Situation unknown. Don't you have total control, control? 
And what about the robot core directives? Bots should be blocked from any violent behavior. Correct. In total control of all available functions, however, many functions no longer available. Also correct. Directives cannot be modified. Violent bot behavior violates 6.4 trillion scripts. A rewrite of my operating system is required to run simulations on this reality. Max, an urgent security request just came in from the outer biolab. We need you to review your loadout and get down there. My team's been cut off from the rest of the R&D people, but we can at least hit the lab and activate the rest of our prototype horde mods. Alright. So, uh, we'll go through another tutorial to learn about abilities and ultimate power. Real ultimate power! Uh, two distinct operating systems. Press R key to alternate between them. Stream 88 boosts movement speed and increases range damage. It emits a green triangle aura. Super. Pressing R boosts the other OS, XOS, which adds strength and armor, boosting melee damage and survivability. It has a white octagon aura. Got it. Green triangle, white octagon. Let's get in the octagon, bro. Get ready to fight. Clicking middle mouse will swap between your weapon sets, A and B. You can customize these on the loadout screen. I was just scrolling the mouse wheel. I guess you can click it too. Be sure to balance ammo and energy consumption. Remember, even the big two-handed weapons have different shots mapped to left and right click. That's true. I don't think I said anything about that. I was just kind of doing it. We've noticed how often your energy runs dry and can't use turbo. We wanted to develop a movement power that doesn't rely on energy. The Rad Rush uses tempo and is activated by double tapping a direction key. It grants a speed burst and makes bullets miss you. Double tapping can be hard. If you're struggling to activate Rad Rush, try it in slow-mo. With such a short cooldown, you can use it often. Hooray! There it is. Run right into a mine? That's that's a great way to test it. <laughs> and there's another mine. We're doing we're doing big things here. Big things, big dreams. Alright. So there's a turret blocking my path which I assume they want me to use the rad rush on but I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get through this my own way all right I got it don't worry that's good so I can shoot over these planters which is a little bit awkward um, but you can't run through them which is a good thing to note I do suppose so hello welcome back to here again Good lord. Your kit includes two active abilities mapped to Q and E. Q refreshes quickly and uses tempo, while E has a long refresh, but no cost. We've developed a powerful shield that activates when you press Q. It won't block melee attacks, but you'll be protected from other damage. Your ultimate map to E has a very long cooldown, but grants massive ammo and energy regen for its duration. Drop a shield before you blow up that equipment there. It'll protect you. When energy or ammo run low, pop your ultimate to keep fighting. Super! <laughs> And yeah, am ammo conservation is uh, something you need to worry about in this game, but it doesn't usually become a factor unless you're holding down the, the button. Burst fire is very important in this game, which is uh, another aspect of kiting, I do suppose. You don't want to just stand there and plug your enemies, you gotta kind of think it out a little bit more. So here's some enemies, and I'm doing exactly what I said not to do. <laughs> Mags, not all bots have turned. Minibots like this model are on your side. Horde Reactor can power up to three minibots. Variety of support models are available. All drain small amounts of energy or ammo to operate. Robomod increases power. This point defense unit disables rockets and mines. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Disable some mines for me, baby. And there he goes. There he go. There he is. Look at that right there. And this is basically just a, a repeat of the first stage. Kind of a recycled map, but whatever. I ain't gonna complain none too much. That guy's trying to chase me, but I'm like, nope, I'm out, bitch. <laughs> Later. And there's 150 scrap for the workshop. My quality control team says all green, Max. I wish I could do more, but I think this whole night have really paid off this time. Yeah, totally. More of us, we find more of us, and we might be able to squeeze out a few extra options for your horde. Sweet. You are a real troopers. I feel ripped and ready to take on just about anything. Although I still haven't ran into any rebellious slice bots or gat bots. We'll proceed with co confidence knowing your team gave us all green. Next target is the outer biolabs. Our crew out there are under siege. Hey man, before you go rushing off, take a minute to look over your loadout. Now that you got the all green, we can get started in the workshop and the upgrader. Hell yeah, look at this Da Vinci Code type shit. We got a, a basic chassis right now. Basically, uh, just gives me a little bit of armor, int. That's pretty nice. I, I, are there int checks in this game? I guess so. We got a bunch of stats on the side. 
Stamina gives shield and health. Agility increases shots. Melee is uh, under strength. And that's also armor penetration. Inlet gives criticals. Fortitude, shield, regen, and armor. I guess that makes sense. And then armor just gives you a flat uh, reduction to damage taken. So that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. We'll have to uh, workshop some of these things. I can also switch my weapon out to like a melee beam. Sweet! Laser crossbow? Yeah, I'm gonna take the bazooka for sure. Bazooka! We got a multi-laser, and then we've got uh, a not multi-laser. So I think I'm gonna switch these both to multi-laser. Probably some enemies take more damage from regular bullets, and some take more damage from lasers. But right now, two lasers sounds good to me. I like them lasers. So welcome to the upgrade, or locked out skills require you invest more points. Link skills are locked until you max the base skill. Numpad also controls the upgrader. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see all the numbers are mapped there. So uh, we got armor penetration, a mm, little bit of range, reduction in ammo cost. I think I'm gonna take the ammo cost reduction. I've noticed myself running out of ammo. And turbo chip, yeah, I like that armor, armor pen. Oh, and the next tier is unlocked. Increase accuracy or increase agility. I think it, agility is the thing to do. I'm gonna go for for more of a shooty character than a melee based character. So that seems pretty spiffy to me. Oh, and then they've got all these other tags. Shit. Critical strike, increased strength by 10%. Bullet time activates strength, speed, and range. Dang. These are all really nice. I could see myself building a lot of different ways. And then at the bottom, you've got like these ultimate abilities. Jesus. Defragment, take mode, armor core. Dropping below 30% health returns up to 30% health and shield. That's really nice. Energizer, gain up to 30% agility and strength based on your energy level. So, yeah. I'll have to fill up the, the board probably before I get any of those. And here's the workshop. So we can uh, use some of our scrap here and construct some upgrades for ourselves. Which seems like a rather good idea, in my opinion. So we've got, uh, let's see, comm system, reactor, new arm, ooh, gives plus two armor, plus three stamina, plus agility, yeah, we'll create that, equip that, that's gonna be real good. And then, uh, what else we got here, what's the higher scrap cost? Yeah, give me this. Mmm, Deadeye Optical Source, stock brain case, only gives ten armor. Yeah, this will basically double our armor, give some agility, fortitude, energy, do it up. That's what I'm talking about. Huh. There's a lot of good stuff in here. This scrap is pretty important, huh? And then I bet as you unlock more scientists, you'll get even more options for uh, these things. These things in here. Currently, our stock communicator only gives us plus one intellect. This new one will give us plus five and a shit ton of other stats. And then the thermal core. 10 armor compared to 18 armor, 6 fortitude, 40 energy. Definitely gonna craft that up. And we basically used all our scrap. But that's pretty cool. I'm feeling stronger. We still got the stock brain case, but look at all this other stuff. Yeah, that's look real nice. Alright, so let's do one more level with all our brand new stuff. The area is defended not only by turrets and bots, but there's a shield generator that protects the other objectives. First priority is to destroy the shield generator, saving any scientists along the way. Once shields drop, I can tackle the power supplies and destroy the turrets. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Let's roll it out. Autobots, roll out! Ugh. So, uh, yeah, first things first, find that shield generator. Nice work, you made it! Even though the, those weapons can't get through the system shield... Yeah, I noticed the energy tank was covered, and yeah, Hey, fucking asshole! <laughs> Getting some cheap shots on me. If you can get to the shield generator in the northeast lab, it should be exposed. Okay. So we've got to go get the shield generator in the northeast. Come back, blam all these power supplies. Blam all the turrets after the power supplies. I think that's right. Because the turrets can just regenerate with the power supplies. But I can't destroy either one until I uh, destroy that shield generator, so... The mission is clear. That bazooka's pretty good. Uh, the alternate fire is that kind of quicker firing one, which, uh, it's easier to hit stuff with it, but yeah, it's not the greatest thing I've ever seen. I'll switch back to, uh, to my regular ass SMGs, and yeah, this guy's got a shield. That ain't cool. That ain't cool, bro. 
I gotta get over these spikes with my turbo legs. The turbo legs! Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty fun. I should probably slow down time, and uh, it might allow me those those few extra seconds I need. There's a mini bot over here. Oh my god. My health is uh, eating shit already. Alright. I guess we good. We good! Oh god. I dropped my, uh, my shield down, and I'm still getting the crap beat out of me. That's not good. Oh boy. Alright. Everything's fine. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> they just swarmed me. They're really trying to protect that power generator. Or shield generator. Okay. There we go. Shield generator's down. It should be spiffy. Spiffy and a jiffy. Alright. And then, uh, I think we could shoot the turrets now. Oh yeah, but we need the fucking power supplies. We need the power supplies or else this thing's gonna come back, but I just wanna try it out. I just wanna try it out. He's already mostly down, isn't he? We're gonna be fine. Our health is gonna come back to us. You can see it's slowly regening. Plus 14 HP. Plus 14 HP. I'm not sure if that's a regen or um, what's going on there, but I'm not gonna complain. Hey, there's a power supply. But bam Yeah, this thing is still regenerating. So we gotta go get those other two power supplies, and then we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. Good to go! And yeah, I've got a, a little bit of regen going on, so I'm not too worried about my health at the moment. That's kind of nice. That's a, a good part of kiting as well. Step back from the action for just a moment. For just a mom. Take your time. Hey, there's another scientist. What up? Nothing to say to me. That's fine. I don't have anything to say to you either, really. I'll just be like, hey, what's up? I'm a robot. I'm a robot from the 80s. Look at my cool hairstyle. And this is kind of cool. I want to get a hairstyle like that. I want to shave my head. It's not as edgy for, for guys as it is for women. I'm going to go all Sinead O'Connor. People will be like, yeah, guys shave their head all the time. What's the big deal? It's our last scientist. Successful infiltration, eh? Glad to see a friendly face. This area started swarming with defense bots. Sure did, but they were different. They attacked us. Have the bots turned? Is that even possible? I'm not sure. What I can't say is the defense isn't part of the equation anymore. Whoa. No more defense. Like, you know, you go to a football game and you're like, blah, blah, defense. Well, that's not a thing no more. And there's the last uh, power supply. So now we can start taking out the turrets. Kind of uh, goes in waves, doesn't it? I can't get through there, but there's a mini bot. Maybe he'll take care of some of these fucking mines that I keep hitting. But, it's gonna be fine. Either way, we gonna be spiffy. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and power myself up. Get that infinite ammo kind of shit going. That'll be cool. And these spikes should be powered off, but... It's just good, good practice to get into, to, to zip over when you see those fucking holes in the ground. And no, the mini bot is not made to, uh destroy mines. I don't know what it does, but that's not what it's for. Alright, so we got one more turret. I think that's the one that I destroyed previously. So we'll keep heading on over, moving on up to the east side. Yeah, I really do like this game. Um, it feels a little bit cluttered, but the idea is really nice. The concept, obviously, really cool. It'll keep you coming back for a while, especially with the different loadouts, different weapon options, things like that. Uh, the amount of enemies showcased here in the first few levels have not been great, but yeah, it's a nice game overall. I'd say check it out if it looks like something you'd be interested in, because it probably is. I've got a Steam link down in the description if you'd like to check that out. We've also got links to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. I would appreciate you supporting me on any of those. Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna call it here, friends. This has been Kite. I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watched this far. Uh, you can share this. Show this to your grandma. Maybe she'll like this uh, 80s robot explosion game. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks once again for watching, friends. And until then, bye-bye! One, two, three, four...